The bulb of the open-end manometer shown above contains a gas. True statements about this system include which of the following. Okay, so gas is in this, and it pushes the mercury uh, and displaces it, and this H is going to be important. We'll talk about what that means in a second. Uh, all right, so let's look at the choices. Which of the following are true about the setup? Only atmospheric pressure is exerted on the exposed mercury surface in the right side of the tube. Yes. So we think about what is what are the forces or what is acting upon the mercury on this side. It's only the pressure downwards from the air um, that's going to be pushing down on this. Now, eventually, normally, when this manometer was set up, the rate of, before you put a gas in, the, the amount of your, your, I mean, your mercury, excuse me, was equal on both sides, right? So as soon, though, as we put a gas in, to the bulb, it pushes the mercury down and displaces it up, but it doesn't go up forever. Eventually, the gas in here and the pressure down here is going to equilibrate, so it's going to be equal, and then at that point, you've determined what your H is, and we'll talk about what the H means in a second. So this is indeed true, uh, so we'll get rid of anything that doesn't have one, so A, B, that's it. The gas pressure is greater than the atmospheric pressure. Yes. So again, this you know started maybe equal like that, but then you put in your gas, you, or you cause your reaction to occur, and it pushes uh, the mercury, displaces it down, and then pushes it up on this side. But eventually it equilibrates because because the gas plus the atmospheric pressure on this side is going to perfectly equal out with the uh, atmospheric pressure on this side once you've displaced it in this manner. Um, so yes, uh, this is indeed true because if it were not if this gas were lower, then this uh, air pressure would push the mercury up higher in this tube and lower in this tube. Uh, but because it's displaced this way, we know this is definitely true. So anything without a tube, we can get rid of D. How about choice three? The difference in height of mercury levels is equal to the pressure of the gas. And that's true. So that's how you figure out what the, or, well, that's not true, excuse me. Uh, it's related to the pressure of the gas, but it's not equal to it because this is this H tells you what the pressure uh, of the gas is plus your atmospheric pressure. So let's say this was 760 millimeters of mercury in, and let's say this H was a difference of, let's say, 20 millimeters of mercury. The pressure on the gas here couldn't be just 20, because if it was just 20, this 760 would boom, push all the way in, and you would you know, basically have close to a vacuum here if it was just 20 millimeters, 20 millimeters of mercury. So it can't just be 20. So what it is is the gas plus the atmospheric pressure is, so it would be 780, in here because this would push it down it would displace this up 20 and that would balance with the 760 to make you 780 so this pressure of the gas is actually the atmospheric pressure plus plus the h or minus the h depending on which way you go so this is related but it's not quite uh true so we can get rid of choice three get rid of choice three so the best choice here is choice c so that's a manometer the main things to remember is the h is equal to the uh, displacement that this gas does, basically how much more pressure is in this than the atmosphere. So basically H plus atmospheric equals this. If it went the other way, it would be atmospheric minus H. Um, and if they're equal, uh, the pressure of the gas is equal to the pressure of the atmosphere.